All right, I don't know if this is a cautionary tale video, a be careful what you wish for video, but it's gonna be a fun one today. Uh, this is gonna be fun, and I definitely want anybody who can relate to what I'm about to show you, who lives in Costa Rica, please comment. All right, guys, let me, let me uh, pay some bills. I'm Michael Allen for TravelCostaRicanow.com. TravelCostaRicanow.com is a travel agency, so go to TravelCostaRicanow.com. Fill out the four-minute form. You'll be that much closer to the vacation of a lifetime. We're like you, having best friends who live in Costa Rica, who know Costa Rica, totally hooking up your Costa Rica vacation. I'd appreciate a subscribe. YouTube doesn't care. If you want to see our videos as we put them up, you got to hit the notification bell. Um... And if you want to donate, that's nice too. Go to TravelCoastRicanow.com and hit the donate button. All right, so where are we, man? We're in La, we're in La Fortuna. We're up at D'Angelo's Mountain House. And I want, <laughs> I want to show you uh, Welcome to the Jungle in its natural form. Okay, so a little bit about the Mountain House. D'Angelo got this about 10 years ago. And almost every plant, tree, bush you see in this yard, we planted. Okay, we put it in there, all this starting with the front and everything you're going to see. Now, 10 years ago, we didn't really know what we were doing. But the thing about Costa Rica is almost anything can grow here. You can just stick a stem in the, in the ground and it's going to grow. <laughs> so we kind of, we had to, sometimes we would put plants in the wrong places and they wouldn't grow. We'd have to move them or we'd oversaturate. But as you can see, <laughs> we, we planted a lot. Now, here's the problem. So D'Angelo rents this uh, on Airbnb. So this has been basically rented out for probably the last six or seven months solid. And since a lot of people want their privacy, we try to, you know, give them their privacy so we don't come up in here and do the yard work like it needs. So this, my friends, is what happens when you can't get up to do yard work. So we're going to walk around. Anybody want to tell me what th these are? Anybody know? You're going to see a lot of them as we walk around. Those are from the leaf cutter ants. I'm going to, you're going to see leaf cutter ants in a, uh, in a little bit. So, these bushes right here are, are called crotons. They have beautiful, colorful leaves all, lo all over them normally. The leaf cutter ants devoured these, as you can see. Devoured them. They're usually beautiful, uh, these kind of leaves, but all kinds of different colors, orange and oranges and yellows and greens. They also uh, destroyed uh, over here. These were also crotons. See, there's a couple crotons over there. You can see kind of that kind of color. They're really beautiful, but the leaf cutters came in and just ate them. All right, so that's one problem. You have a problem with the leaf cutter ants because um, when they come in, I mean, you, they're always around. You have to call the herd every now and then, but you almost can never, if you live in the, an area like this, they're very hard to not have any. So check this out. See, there's, there's more here. Two ficus trees fell down. We knew this was going to happen because uh, two had fallen down about, uh, I don't know, maybe let's say two months ago, and we were having some problems with them. So we got to get rid of those, obviously. So those fell down. Let's go around the other way. So my, my point of this is if you're going to buy a house or you're going to, um, you know, landscape in Costa Rica, you really need to think about what you're going to do because this really does can turn into a jungle and can and just go crazy in very short order if you can't get to it or maintain it the way it should be maintained. It's beautiful though, right? Look at all that. So normally uh, D'Angelo would be out here pruning and cutting like this. These are orchids right here. These are all orchids. Look at all this. These would never, these would all be cut down and this would look nice. All right, check this out. 
Here's our friends. Look at these pads they made. Look at this. There they are, millions of them. See the paths all around the yard? They totally, I oh, can't really see it. So this right here is, was a beautiful almond tree. Leaf cutters just totally, and they can actually do this in like a night, two nights tops. You can, it can be all leafy in the uh, day and then the next morning you can wake up, gone. Here's some more, see? So all these uh, leaf cutters are basically going over here. I'm not gonna go back there, but that's their home. I don't know if you can tell, but they got this real fine looking dirt. So that whole thing is a big nest. Uh, we'll be pouring gas in that later. You gotta call the herd man or they just devour everything, which uh, they, have their, they have their trees they like. But the point of this video is not just leaf cutter ants, it's maintenance. This, if you don't, if you don't uh, watch how you plant, which we did not, you can be doing, you spend, you spend a lot of time uh, out in the yard. When it's all shaped up though, it is a beautiful yard, I gotta tell you. We jungled it out a lot. A lot of people just like to, you know, do the whole just rows of something and, you know, kind of more manicured. We kind of always like more of the jungly look. So my precautionary tale, if you're going to buy a house in Costa Rica and you want to jungle it out, be careful or get a really good landscaper. But I can tell you, I don't know what other people's uh, experiences are with landscapers here. Um, but I know we've had problems because they don't mind like cutting the grass and, you know, pruning a little bit, but they don't, they don't really like weeding and stuff like that. They just, they just whack. <laughs> they don't really weed. They'll whack the whole plant, which we don't really like, but, uh, they're more of a kind of light maintenance. That, uh, they, they don't last very long around this yard because it, it requires kind of a lot of work. So basically, D'Angelo does it mostly himself. I used to help him, but I'm old. All right, man, so that's it. I, I'd be very interested in you guys that live down here, maybe in a similar situation, or you started a garden, or you've kind of done this, and what your experiences have been, and if uh, maybe yours are different than ours, um, let us know in the comments. So people thinking about coming down here to live and maybe jungling out their yard might want to, uh, think twice unless they really really like to do that like every day <laughs> all right man well got to get to uh, pruning got to get to cutting i'm michael allen travel now.com peace guys uh things are going to pop up always do your homework and research uh if you're thinking about living or traveling anywhere and uh, if it's costa rica i don't know i'd start with my videos all right, have a good one.